Hi everyone, my name is Naomi and today I'll be talking about this anti-LGBTQ politician in Tokyo. On September 25th, 2020, Masateru Shiraishi, a Liberal Democratic Party Assemblyman of Adachi Ward of Tokyo, went under fire for his anti-LGBTQ comments that he said during a council meeting. So trigger warning, I'll be talking about those, you know, homophobic, anti-LGBTQ, kind of misogynistic comments that he said or, you know, entailed in this whole story. So if you don't want that in your beautiful life, please subscribe to my video, but like stop watching it. Watch my other videos, okay? First, I'm going to summarize what he said on September 25th. So basically he says, Okay. I don't want to interfere with people's personal life and how they choose to live. But think about it. If all Japanese people become either L, lesbian, or G, gay, we won't have any kids. No future generation. Also, humans are animals as well. So we always have to make decisions based on the concept of having kids or having future generations. Well, B, bisexuals, and T, transgender, are basically born with it, so it may not be wise to discuss it right now, but if G and now spread through Adachi Ward completely, we won't have any kids, and Adachi Ward will extinct. I understand that we have to respect sex and the diversity of sexuality. I get it, but at educational institutions, we have to teach kids that to get married normally, to have kids and raise them, are fun, great, and important. So we have to teach them that. Again, this is what he said, okay? What Mr. Siraiji said. I actually watched the whole video of his questionnaire during the council meeting, and the underlining tone of his questionnaire is just misogynistic and homophobic. Big oof. Okay, 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 okay. First of all, Shiraishi, have you not seen or met any same-sex couples with kids? There are sperm banks and egg banks. There are same-sex couples who want and do have kids. Do not erase them. Do not erase their existence. Do not ignore them, dude. Also, for me, sexuality is something that you realize, find out, not choose. So the level of disrespect is pretty high. But can we actually talk about how he accepts transgender people and bisexuals? I thought he would denounce them, but thanks for nitpicking those categories of LGBTQ community members and accepting them? Thanks, bro. So right after his questionnaire, he got heavily criticized. And Mainichi Shimbun, one of the major newspaper companies in Japan, did an interview with him afterwards, basically asking, yo, what happened? And basically, should I just said, Oh, I've never met members of LGBTQ community. If they felt offended or, you know, felt sad because of my comments, well, that's because they chose to live that way that made them feel that way. And the interviewer said that the members of LGBTQ community do not choose their sexuality, you know, because we are basically born that way. And he said, No. Nah. I think L, lesbian, and G, gays, chose that way because it's more fun and easier. I don't have any L or G people in my life, but I'm not denying them. <sighs> Again, after this interview came out, <laughs> people got more frustrated and furious, <laughs> including myself. Yes, he said ignorant and hateful stuff because he's living this life that I would like to call the unfortunate life of heterosexuals. I'm kidding like 80% kidding. Okay, so if we actually look at the intention of his questionnaire, is because he wanted to come up with solutions to tackle Japan's low fertility rate. In 2019, fertility rate in Japan was 1.36, whereas in Canada, we scored 1.5 in 2018, and in the States, they scored 1.7 last year. So from these numbers, you may think, oh, Damn, Japan's fertility rate is so low. Oh boy, you better come up with something real quick. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go beyond that. Canada and the United States have legalized same sex marriage. <coughs> Canada legalized it back in 2005. <coughs> so, if we go along with his logic, isn't it ironic that countries that do not discriminate marriage 
based on the sex of people who are getting married to have higher fertility rate. Okay, this is not only damaging to the LGBTQ plus community and allies, but also to the people who cannot get pregnant, give up on conceiving, cannot afford kids, or simply just don't want kids. He wants this normal, putsu, heterosexual people who are capable of having kids and producing next generation to be the norm in his ward. So anyone who doesn't fit into this mold of normalcy don't belong to an after ward? Is that what he's saying? This is depressing, I'm not gonna lie. An openly anti-LGBTQ politician promoting heterosexual marriage as normal. It was a bit triggering for me because I've been told so many homophobic things by people who were born and raised in Japan both in and out of Japan so when the news originally broke, I'm like, nope, no, I can't deal with this. But I saw so many people being furious at his comments both in and out of Japan. So those people actually made the chairman apologize for Shirashi's comments and on October 20th, Shirashi actually apologized for his comments. So let's look at his comments. Let me, let me, let me actually read the thing. I can't, I can't memorize this thing. I apologize as a politician for making comments that could come across as discriminatory. Tying LGBTQ community to low fertility rate and labeling heterosexual marriage as normal or out of line and I acknowledge that those comments are discriminatory and I would like to take it back. I would like to do my best to accept the diversity in LGBTQ for those who are struggling with their LGBTQ-ness. Okay, so at first, I only read the, you know, summary of it and I was like, oh my god, he actually apologized. Even after the horrendous, you know, follow-up interview, he acknowledged it, he apologized for it. Oh my god, what the heck's happening? I actually watched the whole video of his apology and I have two issues. First, the council shouldn't have deleted his comments. They only deleted those, you know, problematic parts of his comments. But no, 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 don't erase that. Let that be a record and let people learn from his mistake. Don't erase the whole incident. No. Two, he said, I will accept diversity in LGBTQ for those who are struggling with their sexuality, sexual orientation, and gender identity. No, 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 no. Does he realize that his anti-LGBTQ attitude and mindset are something that's damaging to the community members of LGBTQ? For me, my queerness is not the issue. It's about how people may react to my queerness. That's the issue. Homophobia or heteronormative may damage or harm the LGBTQ plus community members not the fact that they are a part of that community. Does he realize that? I don't think so. I really hope that he learns from this and realizes how he was spewing hate and ignorance and become a true ally to the members of LGBTQ plus community. People who are having difficult time conceiving or people who cannot afford children and come up with great solutions to bring people in the Dachi ward together to create a beautiful diverse and safe community. So yeah. Hey Shirai san if you want to learn about LGBTQ and diversity, give me a call. I'll be your service. Or just Google LGBTQ plus organizations in Tokyo. There are a ton. Go listen to their stories. Go learn from them. Let's all be compassionate to each other and work together to create a beautiful diverse and safe community. Okay, that's it. I'm done spewing hate and reading um, homophobic stuff. But I'll be talking about other social issues in Japan and what's happening in North America or just make commentary on those issues, movies, whatever. It's basically a random commentary channel. I'll be talking about makeups too. So if you're interested in that, please subscribe. And if you have any comments, thoughts, or questions, leave them in the comment section. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And now me with a plat. I was gonna say dot com. There's no dot com, America. No dot com. And I will see you in my next video. Leave a like too. Okay. Stay safe, kids. Bye.